Hey, we back. I'm here today talking about another useless Discord feature that Discord has decided to add. Let's go. There aren't enough of them already. So, if you aren't aware, Discord has very recently added something new, which seems at first glance like it's not really gonna make any difference. And this is a little AKA thing on your profile. So, if we click on a profile here, we have AKA underneath. And what this shows is all of the nicknames of that particular account. Now, this is only in mutual servers, so you can't find out people's nicknames uh, from servers that you shouldn't have access to, right? So obviously here, uh, I don't have too many mutuals with the calendar bot, so it's just got the one AKA here, whereas maybe a bot that I have a lot more mutuals with, it's gonna have a bunch of names. Now, firstly, this seems like a nice enough feature. Oh, look, you can maybe if someone changes their nickname on the server, you talk to them and you're, you're not sure who they are now or they change their actual name, especially with the actual name changes coming up soon. Uh, kind of useful. You'll be able to see all of their server nicknames. You'll still know who the account is. However, this is actually useless because we could already do this. If I just click on the account and press the message button, we will actually see all of their AKAs at the top of the message list. And this is the case for all accounts ever. Any account that you click on and click message, it will be up there. And because actually it's up here at the top next to their little at, um, their little online symbol and all the rest of it, it doesn't matter how much message history you have, it's still going to be showing up here. So for example, if I click on Karuda instead, there's plenty of messages, I can still see all of their their nicknames at the top. Uh, so that's the first point. This feature is not new, this is something we could already do, and so having it written on your profile makes no difference whatsoever. The second thing is it just takes up space. So especially with things like Calendar here, funnily enough, as with a lot of bots, what I've done on this server is I've put its prefix as uh, part of its nickname, which I think is quite helpful. Uh, this means that all three of these things here are showing the exact same thing. This says calendar, this says calendar, this says calendar. We're just taking up space for no reason on profiles. And when you get bots like Karuda, which uh, again, I have more mutual servers with, they all are doing the same thing. We see, oh, it's called Karuda, which is Karuda, prefix K, Karuda, K, Karuda, K. Uh, <laughs> looking for pop drops. Uh, K, Karuda, Karuda, K, K, Karuda. It's all just repeating text, basically. And yeah, this is all different servers that have nicknamed it slightly different things. But at the end of the day, it's just taking up space that doesn't need to be there. If I really wanted to see that stuff, I could just click on the DMs and I could see it there already. So point is, it's a useless feature that's taking up space. Now, I'm going to talk about why it's actually a bad feature, because there is one exception to this rule of clicking on DMs. There is one person who you cannot DM to see all of their nicknames, and that is yourself. You cannot message yourself, because of course you can't, that wouldn't make any sense. And so now you can see all of your own nicknames on your profile. Do you see something odd? Do you see how I've had to block half of these out? This is because, like I said, you can only see nicknames of people you have mutual servers with because there may be some nickname that you don't want other people to find out about. Maybe if you're in a server with your school or your university or work group or whatever, you might have your real name, for example, as a nickname. This is a feature that is not disabled in streamer mode, so I cannot click on my profile anymore without doxing myself. Wonderful! This is why I've had to blank out the AKA list, because otherwise you're going to see all of the nicknames from all of the servers that I am in. This is pretty awful. So, in conclusion, short video, it's a it's basically a completely useless feature. We could, we could uh, have this functionality already in DMs, and now it's just taking up space on profiles as well. However, it's not disabled in streamer mode, 
And so for that means people making Discord videos and streaming end up doxing themselves by clicking on their profiles. I don't know why Discord didn't think of that. For the majority of Discord users, this doesn't make any difference. Of course, you're, you're not going to be showing your uh, perspective to other people. And so the whole doxing yourself issue isn't a thing. You might also just not have any personal info in your nicknames in other servers anyway, in which case you can share it just fine. So admittedly, for most people, this feature is just useless. It's not a good thing. It's not a bad thing. It just exists. It takes up a bit of space. You might think it looks nice. You might think it looks bad, whatever. But for streamers and YouTubers specifically, the feature is awful because it's not disabled on streamer mode uh, and it has no upside whatsoever. So another little complaint for you. All in all, I don't think this is too bad. I'll just have to avoid clicking on my profile, I guess, in future videos. Uh, of course, it is probably relating to the name changes that we're going to have coming up, uh, which I do think are awful for many reasons, and I've already made a video about those. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say in this video. Just uh, point out minor issue with the new update and also let you know it exists if you don't have this feature yet just refresh your discord and it should pop in i can't speak for mobile as always i uh, don't know how the mobile ui and stuff looks because it's awful and i don't use it uh, but anyway i will be leaving this video here bye